This video demonstrates how to estimate a linear regression model in our programming using Julius AI, which is an AI-powered data analysis platform that helps us explore, visualize, and interpret our data with natural language commands. So without too much talk, let's dive right into the video. In this video, we will use an example data set provided by the Kaggle website. I will put the link to this data set into the description of this video. And this data set contains car prices. And you can download the data set as you can see here on this page if you click the download button at the top right of this page. So after clicking this button, you can see that you can download the data set as a zip file. And then afterwards, the data set is downloaded into your download folder on your computer as a zip file. So in the next step, you have to extract this file, as you can see here. And then you can see that there are two files contained in this download zip file. The first file, car price assignment, contains our actual data. So I can open this file and then you can see that this file contains different information about cars. And the most important column here in this data set is the price column, which tells us the price of this car. And then we also have a dictionary which explains the different columns in this data set and it also tells us the class of our variables. So for example, the price of car is numeric, but then we also have categorical and integer values. Now in this video I want to demonstrate something new. I want to use an AI tool to analyze our data. And in this case, I'm using the Julius AI platform to analyze our data. And this platform looks like this. So as you can see here, I have already created an account. This is completely free. And then you can analyze your data using natural language prompts. Another advantage of Julius AI is that you can use either Python code or R programming code. So in this case, I want to use R. And for that reason, I'm selecting R here. And now in the next step, I want to import my data set into Julius AI. And I can simply do that by dropping my data file into the chat window, as you can see here. And now, as you can see, Julius AI analyzes this data set and loads the data set into my current session. So now in the next step, I want to analyze this data set in further detail. More precisely, I want to estimate a linear regression model. However, as a first step, I want to get some more descriptive statistics about the data set. And for that reason, I use this prompt window here at the bottom. And I tell Julius AI that I want to describe the data set and return some interesting summary metrics. So I simply type this into this chat window and then I execute this chat. And then you can see that Julius AI starts analyzing the data and it also creates some R code. So after waiting some time, you can see that Julius AI has created different R snippets. It also has created a dataset overview. So here you can see the data. Then it also returns some summary statistics. So here you can see the names. You can see summary of numeric columns. You can see other interesting summary metrics such as the price distribution. And then automatically Julius AI also returns some other interesting results. So here in this case, it returns the 10 most expensive cars and it shows many further details and even visuals of our data. So here, for example, you can see the price distribution. Here you can see the price versus horsepower by body style and so on. 
So as you can see, by inserting a very simple prompt into the Julius AI platform, we already get a lot of information about our data. However, in this example, I want to estimate a linear regression model. And for this, I want to use some more dedicated prompts to generate these results. So in the next step, I want to define a model and I want to remove all the columns that are not relevant for a linear regression model in my dataset. And for that reason, I insert the prompt, remove columns that are irrelevant for a linear regression model. I execute this. And now you can see that Julius AI is thinking again. It generates some R code. And it also generates some explanations what was removed. So here you can see that after cleaning our data set, we have 205 rows and 25 columns left with no missing values. So here in this case, we removed only a few columns of our data set. And now we can continue with our linear regression model. And to do that, I insert another prompt into Julius AI, which is estimate a linear regression model with price as the target variable. So I execute this as well. So as you can see, Julius AI took a while to calculate these results. And actually something interesting just happened because as you could see in the outputs of the screen, Julius AI encountered some error messages while generating these results. And then automatically it tried to fix these errors to come up with a valid solution. This is why the previous prompt took a while. However, at the end, Julius AI came up with this formula, which has price as the target variable. And then you can see these columns as predictors. So as you can see here, we have an output for our model. You can also see that many of the predictors are significant. And you can see that the Adjusted R squared is 0 0.95, so this is a pretty good result, I would say. Please note here at this point, I don't want to talk too much about the theory behind linear regression models, because as you might know, there are different assumptions involved that we have to keep in mind when estimating linear regression models and several best practices. However, here I want to focus on using Julius AI to generate results for a linear regression model. However, you can also see that in addition to these linear regression estimation results, Julius AI also returns additional metrics such as the width for our final model, the adjusted R squared, we already have seen this in the previous output, the RMSE, and it also creates tables and additional plots that we can use. And it also shows a summary at the end, which tells us what just happened in our code. So as you can see, we have already created detailed results and we have also created certain plots. However, let's assume that I want to create a specific plot. So in this case, I'm interested in a scatter plot created using the ggplot2 package between price and engine size. And I also want to add a regression line. So after running this prompt, you can see that Julius starts thinking again. And as you can see, after some time, it returns the correlation between engine size and price, which is 0 0.874. And as you can see, this is also reflected by this scatter plot that was just created. I reduce the size here a bit to show it a bit better. So as you can see, Julius AI has created a scatter plot between price and engine size with a regression line. 
and it also has modified the design of this plot. So I would say this is a publication ready plot that you could simply insert into your project results. So after generating these results and graphs, I also want to show you that it's easily possible to export the R code that we have used into an actual R Studio session. And for this, I insert another prompt that you can see here at the bottom. So as you can see, now I'm inserting the prompt, return one code box with relevant R code. I execute this and then I wait for the result. So here you can see that Julius AI returned only the results or the code for the scatter plot. However, actually I wanted to return the results for the entire project. So for that reason, I have to be a bit more precise. This is also something that you can see here that the more precise you are with your prompts, the better it is. So for that reason, I modify my prompt and I say return one code box with relevant R code for the entire project. I want to copy paste this into our studio. So make sure that everything runs as shown here in Julius AI. So after running this, you can see that Julius AI returns a code box with the entire code. And it's also very convenient that you can simply copy this code, as you can see here at the top right, using this copy button. And now in the next step, we can actually open a new script in our studio and insert the code copied from Julius AI into our RStudio script. Sometimes if you want to use code like this directly in RStudio, you might have to modify certain steps such as the path to your file and so on. However, you can see here that it's easily possible to export this R script into RStudio and then modify and improve the script there. So this gives you a very good basis that you then can refine in our studio, or of course you could also continue working here in Julius AI. A big advantage of this possibility to export the script into our studio is also that you can verify the script in our studio by yourself because keep in mind always when you're working with AI tools it's important to check the results and not simply rely on the outputs of these AI tools even though the outputs by Julius AI are very good so the code basis that is provided here is already very good but as i said it's always important to double check it by yourself as i have mentioned earlier in this video we used the free version of julius ai so i didn't have to pay anything to execute these prompts and here on this page you can see the different pricing models provided by julius ai so as you can see there's a completely free version that we also used in this video and with this free version you have up to 15 messages per month for free however if you want to use julius ai on a regular basis then you could also consider one of these paid plans and you can see the prices here thanks a lot to julius ai for collaborating with me in this video and for sponsoring this video so that i was able to show and demonstrate julius ai to you if you want to learn more about julius ai you might also consider reading this tutorial on the Statistics Club website, which I have recently created and which I'm showing a completely different example on how to use Julius AI with our programming. So in this example, I'm analyzing GDP data over time. And here I also provide more insights on how to use Julius AI. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know your feedback in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.